What is up guys? Silver Surfer, once again coming your guys' way with another Precious Metals unboxing for y'all. This one I once again did the honors of taking all the packaging off as many of you guys know I am one-handed in this venture of the YouTube. Still haven't bought a tripod. <laughs> uh, I will in the future. I'm working on it to make a little bit better quality videos but Let's face it, what did we really come here for, right? It's to see some silver, so screw it. You guys will enjoy regardless. Anyways, so what you see down there is what you got. A little unboxing. We'll go ahead and start off with the basics that everyone pretty much have seen already. This is a 2019 American Silver Eagle. You guys ever see these before? <laughs> I'm sure you have. Uh, anyways, what I like to do is get a couple of, you know, American Silver Eagles tapped on to the latest kind of uh, collector pieces that I do follow and pick up just to make it that $100 uh, tax or tax, the $100 free shipping when I do get it. So this is all a Provident Metals unboxing. Well, at least the coins here in this video are. Um, Back's got that beautiful seal. Um, anyway, so like I said, I prefer to buy them in a roll or a larger amount when I can afford it. And when I am looking to <clears throat> um, uh, just specifically buy that on, you know, good deals and stuff like that. But I, I'm patient, you know, I'll wait until I get the coupons off of eBay that qualify for those discounts or whatever the case is. Um, but if I'm still buying things, which comes out monthly, like I said, or every other so month when I see different items, such as the Queen's Beast this month, uh, and I want to get it on release price because I've come to know that that's typically the best that I've seen uh, on most of these coins that I follow. So, yeah, that's why I'll toss a couple of these in the order and slowly put them away into a tube, which is where these uh, two 2019 are going to go. So nice, fresh eagles. Nothing wrong with these ones whatsoever. <clears throat> Moving on with the Provident unboxing, we got the Z-Scene Scrofa Scrotum. I mean Scrofa. <laughs> uh, go ahead and zoom in on this guy right here, gal, if you would. This is not the ghost version. This is just a regular BU. It's the one I collect. Camera's picking up some interesting rainbow tone to the left of her, or to the right of her left of the image, if you see that right there. I don't think that's actually on the coin, but kind of cool. like this design, you know. She's uh, standing out there, this warrior chick. Got a pretty sweet little get up there. Rad sword. Kind of looking down like, hey, I'm going to wield this thing at you if you mess with me. So I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I got into the Chiwu series a year after the first one came out. Unfortunately, because that thing's already shot up to about 100 bucks as the cheapest you'll find it. So... Uh, this came out another year afterwards, and I do have all of them, and I'm collecting all of them, and I'll continue collecting all of them. Um, you know, I like these things. I really do. You know, they're maybe a couple bucks more expensive than an American Silver Eagle, if you would. But, you know, in the long run, you have a collection. Uh, it's fun putting sets together. It's fun stacking silver, if you would, in a different type of uh, form than just continuously getting these bad boys down here. So I don't mind... Um, you know, spending a dollar or so more on the premium. I think I got this for like 20 bucks or $21 um, on Provident. And so I don't mind that at all. I really enjoy putting together different things. And, you know, like I said, if worse came to worse and I ever had to scrap it for the precious metal value in it, well, then so be it. It's not the end of the world because I didn't spend all that much over it. I don't ever get the expensive premium coins. Typically, I try not to. I've been a sucker for a couple in the past, but rarely, rarely do I, I spend the money on that. Here's one of my favorites of the series is to collect. This is the 2019, the Yale of Beaufort. I think that's how you pronounce it. Everyone's been saying Beaufort, but I think it's actually pronounced Beaufort. Um, anyhow, it's got this interesting looking beast looking deal on there with some antlers and horns and big old tusk, which are warts looking, looking like stuff all over his body. Pretty rad. I actually like this design. Um, wasn't the biggest a fan of the bull or the falcon. Uh, 
But this one's pretty cool, man. And this was a series as well that I jumped in on right when the first ones came out. I was lucky enough to get the, you know, the dragon and griffin and all those, the tiger, and I have every one of them. Um, there's three more issues, one more this year in September, um, and then should be completed by 2020 is what the uh, Royal Mint is showing on their website. So there's the old lady on the back, Queen Elizabeth II. Nicely done, you know. I've also seen a lot of you guys having product quality control issues with some of these big bullion dealers, and I just don't seem to have that with Provident. You know, I've gotten very lucky with them. There's a little little spot over there at the three o'clock position. Nothing to really bother me though. That's not their issue. That's more so the uh, the Royal Mint's issue. But I mean, this thing looks solid, dude. Put it in the capsule, as all my other Queen's Beasts are. But I have had issues with other things such as Atmex. Um, I had to actually return uh, my latest gold pickup. Well, I just got the the uh, the return slip in the mail today to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and, and send that off. But yeah, man, Provident, I've, I've been really lucky with. They're my go-to folks. I get, like I mentioned, uh, being military, I get the cheapest uh, price possible when I pay with cash. And so usually it's a really, really good deal. Um, the cheapest I can ever find, majority of stuff, you know, from eagles, bullion prices to everything uh, for the most part. So, uh, glove got stuck here. So, that's why I usually go with them. I'll go with that mix on other items that I can get on the eBay bucks because a lot of it qualifies on there, like some gold pickups and stuff. But, um, yeah. All right. And lastly, all right, guys, here it is. Your surfer went to the dark side here, got himself a bar. Can you believe that? I can't. <laughs> um, this is going to be a shout out to the Stacking Nerd. Many of y'all have heard her, watched her channel. She does the daily gold and silver deals. And ironically, I was been seeing a lot of you guys unbox these things, and they just look pretty stinking cool, man. Um, I'm not a bar guy. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm really not. And for my weight purposes, this is what I stack American Silver Eagles. I try and stay with sometimes Canadian Maple Leaves, sometimes Kruger Ends. I uh, mentioned before in a lot of y'all's comments, my LCS will give me 50 cents over spot for these and everything else at spot. So that's why I stick with it. I can get them relatively cheap on Provident. So I'm not a bar guy. Definitely not a bar guy. But I've been seeing people stack these and, and pick them up and they just look sneaking cool, man. And so I thought, you know what? I was ready to add some more weight to the to my um, my precious metals portfolio. And I was looking around, looking around, and I saw it one day uh, for, I forget the price, it was like 180 something dollars, or no, actually it was like 205 bucks. Uh, so it was about $20 an ounce on eBay and then from the Scottsdale Mint. And then I ended up uh, holding off waiting, and ironically the next day the Stacking Nerd posts a, um, a deal on these things that went on sale from the Scottsdale Mint, of like a flash sale kind of thing. And I was able to get it for 170 bucks, guys. Check that out. So $17 per ounce for the Scottsdale Stacker Bar. And it is a nice looking bar, man. They do do good work. Let's see if we can get a close up of the seal there. There you go. Serialized, you know, personally serialized on each of these. Um, and they're just cool, man, all around. It would be, Freaking neat to have a number of these in your in your safe or your deposit box and nice and stacked up high, which they have the little uh, edges there to do so. But yeah, quality, quality bar, solid price in my opinion on this sucker. They're a little bit smaller in hand than I thought they would be. Um, they're not all that stinking big, but they are 10 ounces smushed into a tiny little amount. So it's cool, you know? I'll, I'll add it to the stack. I like the lion design that they got on there. And and yeah, so that's that. I'm done rambling. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyways, I uh, hope you will enjoy this latest unboxing. Another 15 ounces added to some weight here and a couple of collector coins. Um, and I got to get back to the numismatic world here of stuff. I got some neat things to share with you guys. I haven't really had a chance to post a video yet on it. But I promise I will, so stick with me, my numismatists out there. This one's for the stackers, and maybe some of y'all numismatists might like some of these premium silver coins. So anyways, without that, Silver Surfer out.